Hello, people of YouTube, and welcome to my channel. Um, for the people that don't know me, my name is Jonathan, and I like to do videos on RC cars, on board videos, and on building things. Um, this video is going to be the Savage XS Flux. Let me open it so you guys can see how it looks, and yeah. I already opened the box, so I know how it looks inside, um, but I did this to, to show you guys how it's laid out when it comes in the box, so let me just get this thing opened. This is the Savage Excess Flux. Um, yeah. When you open the box, it comes in like this card right here, all your parts over here, and there's instruction manuals and stuff down there. Let me pull this out, get the cardboard out. Here's a transmitter, 2.4 gigahertz radio, spare parts bag, uh, I know there's wrenches, uh, it looks like stuff for wheels, ball cups, and some body clips and washers, I think they are. You also get four AA batteries for your, uh, your transmitter. Let me take this out, this is a car. Uh, instruction manuals, uh, the new radio, I'll just talk about this later on, and some other papers in the back. Let me put the box down. Okay. So let me talk about the transmitter first, since this is this is a new um, addition to like the, I guess the HPI now, the brand, the, yeah. Okay, so if you guys haven't known this yet, this is a new uh, transmitter for HP that HPI is now using. You put the batteries under here. When I first uh, opened it, I was wondering where until I saw. That there's a little mark here that says to push down. Um, you grab it from right here. Feels kind of awkward in the hand, but it'll do. One thing that seems to bother me is that right here, it touches your finger and it doesn't really. It seems like it'll bother your finger when you're running it. it has a springiness to it. Um, your on switch is right here, your battery indicator. Um, your. Steering and throttle reversing. This is your steering door, right? Yeah, that's steering door. Right? Um, I was just checking if it was steering or throttle. Steering trims. Throttle trims. Once again, this is 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, TF11. I think the old one was called the TF40. And let me just put these things aside. So, on with the car. Um, first thing you see are the wheels. I understand that they, these are 2.2 size wheels, so at any point in time you can change them out for something new if you wanted to, or like if the rubber wears out. Um, the tire, these tire feel like, they feel, I guess, awkward in a way, but they seem like medium hardish. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Like, there's a difference from here and here. These feel kind of weird in a way, but I guess they'll do. Chrome wheels. Here's the body. Comes through painted. Uh, if we look at it, it, comes ha it, it has the front bumper. It has the same front bumper as the one in the rear. The only difference is that the front has like a, some lights in there. They're not functional, but it still gives it kind of a scale look. And we just take off the body clip so you guys can see the inside. Whoa. Accidentally found the body clip wrong um, when I was putting it back in the box. But this sh should take a while, I guess. Uh, 
There you go. Yeah, I put it on the wrong way, so sorry for that. Move the body off. You can see the car. Um, first thing you notice are the shocks. They are threaded shocks, plastic bodies. Shocks feel pretty nice in the car. Not too springy, but like not too hard also. Seems like it could be the correct uh, dampening or like shock absorbency from like the floor and everything. Pretty good setup for what you need. Um, the the arms look pretty beefy. They're extremely thick. Let me just give you a close up on this whole area. Everything's thick. These are non adjustable links. Uh, I understand that there's a, a an upgrade that you can get that are threaded. So in case you want to like put adjustable cambers, I mean, ha add camber to your car, runs on ball bearings. I see. It has dog bones, and you could also get an upgrade with the. I forgot what they're called, but I know you could get an upgrade from dog bones to the other thing. Shock mounts right here, pretty flimsy, pretty pretty flimsy, but um. Wait for it. Okay, yeah, they're pretty, sorry. They're pretty flimsy because I'm guessing that uh, this will absorb the shock when you um, do some standing backflips because this thing can do standing backflips on 2S lipos. Yeah, this car can take 2S lipos or 3S lipos. Here's your arm length right here, as I was talking about them earlier. This car. It's said to be waterproof, but I'm not too sure if this motor is. Let's talk about the motor later. Everything is waterproof on the car. It has a waterproof receiver box. The receiver is enclosed in here. And the wires lead to here, which is, this is your um, Vapor Pro ESC. This is the Vector 4000 kV motor. I think it's four pole. And here's a transmission, which leads to. Yeah, which leads to um, the transmission, and the transmission has a slipper clutch on the inside or the outside, you can't really see. You can also grab it around here, if you're just going to carry it around with the body off. From the back, um, you can see the same bumper, same shocks, also threaded, so you can have adjustables. Uh, I believe, yeah, they, they do have the same um, arms from the front and the rear. So whenever you break one, if you ever break one, because this thing is pretty beefy and I doubt you're going to break one, but if you ever break one, um, you could just buy it like a set and maybe you don't have to spend extra money on buying different arms for the front and the rear, uh, like they did that. And moving to the side, right here's where you put your battery. Uh, well, speaking about the battery, the thing that connects the, the battery are Dean's connectors. But it's pretty normal now in the RC world. Um, also, cool fact, <laughs> I guess. This is my first electric RC, so I'll be having fun with it as I get to know the electric RC world because um, I'm coming from the electric RC world into electric. When you open it, it comes with a, a piece of foam that you can put in your battery if it's loose. And if you notice, all your electronics are up here while your battery is down here. This keeps the center of gravity low as you drive it around. If you see this, there's a hole that leads to the servo, which you can adjust the servo arm if it's like reading you the wrong way when you turn. These these locks are pretty convenient. All you do, this arm, this little thing, uh, connects to like the, the twin vertical chassis plates, which are famous and like in all savages what you do is push that and this little tab locks it in place and let me just close this one and with all my force i cannot open the battery i'm probably guaranteeing you guys that this will probably never open unless these get broken let me give you guys a uh, like a quick view before i start giving you some facts about the car from my notes that i've taken here you go. 
Okay, now that I've given you a 360 view of the car, uh, let me take... Okay, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Let me tell you guys facts about the car from my notes that I've taken. Okay. Um, I already told you guys that it has a waterproof receiver and ESC. I'm not too sure if the motor is waterproof or not, so I'm going to be careful when I'm driving in around in, like, in, like, water or anything. Um, let's see. 4,000 kV motor. It's... Wait, yeah, transmission gears are all metal, so it does seem to take abusing. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It's a Castle Creations motor, just that has, like, the HPI name to it now. This thing can do 65 miles an hour or more with the. Let me just put it closer. It has a. It can do 65 miles an hour or more with the 34 tooth pinion and the 3S battery. Um. I'll start talking to you about the battery later on. Uh, it, it's ready to run, as you can see, but it does not. Repeat. Does not come with battery, and or charger. The body is pre-painted, as I told you earlier. Has slipper clutch. Four-wheel drive has dog bones all around. A uh, one-ten size electronics on a basically one twelfth size monster truck, which is gonna be insane when you're driving it. Twin vertical chassis plates. And speaking about the battery, <clears throat> let me just open it up. In case you guys have this car or are planning on getting it, since it doesn't come with the battery, I found that actual dimensions in the manual. Um, in millimeters, it's 143 millimeters by 47 millimeters by 31 millimeters, in case anyone's wondering, because uh, I've ordered battery, one battery and a charger, and it should fit, but just to make it clear on you guys, because I had trouble um, with, like trying to find out what battery to get from the size. So once again, and the the dimensions are 143 millimeters by 47 millimeters by 31 millimeters. You can fit two to three S batteries, um, and that's it from the facts. This thing can do standing backflips, even on two S. I'm not sure if you can put one S one S light bulbs on that. I haven't already heard about that, but that would be pretty weird. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this or not, but. The gears, I'm not sure if it's normal or not, because um, it's my first electric RC car, and usually natural cars don't do this, but if this is normal, just comment, unlike the comment box or not, but I'm pretty sure this is normal, but here you guys go. I think it's normal, but I'm not too sure. Comment on this if it is. I think it is, but yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have, well, I am gonna have fun this, with this car since the battery is coming in in like three or four days at the most. Um, yeah, that should be it for this Savage XS. Let's see what else is there. If I forgot anything, no, I think that's it. So, comment, like, or subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll probably be doing some onboard videos with this car, as I have done with my other cars. Hopefully I can sometime take it to a track and do like some, like a bunch of backflips with it. I've never done a backflip with the car, cause, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope this video has been informative to you guys. Let me just put the battery back on, I mean the, <laughs> the body back on, so you guys can see what everything, everything that comes with. At the end. Here's the car. Receiver. This. And this. I hope this video is good. And guys, have a good day. Bye.